Mad Magazine, number 545, June 2017. The issue starts off with Alfred E. Newman shoving a microphone in Trump's face, spit flying everywhere. Next up, an ad for Goodnight Bad Cave, followed with the table of contents before the Letters and Tomatoes department featuring letters praising the magazine, a photo of a restroom in Brazil with Mad papering the walls, Donnie Wahlberg with a throwback Thursday on the New Kids on the Block cover from 1991, and a reader testing to see if the letters department actually publishes real reader letters by sending in his own. Plus pictures of a reader's baby not being a fan, Ed Asner posing with some Mary Tyler Moore mock-ups, as well as editor John Ficarra's tribute to mad illustrator Jerry Gersten. Interestingly, the section goes on to say that this is the last issue that will award giveaways to readers whose letters are published before publishing the credits. The Fundalini pages feature lampoons of Press Secretary Sean Spicer, things El Chapo learned while in New York, and a Big Mac ad, New Ways to Die 2017 edition, Ronda Rousey's 30th birthday, Hanky Pankery, the Trumpolini pages mocking La La Land, Trump Candy Hearts, a Trump travel band, the White House Gates, and Mad redesigns the Nordstrom logo, Beauty and the Beast, Melania's plans to fight online bullying, Kellyanne Conway's new fragrance, Alternative Facts, a fight poster between the President and Meryl Streep, and fun facts about the Mexico-U.S. border wall. The Symbol Pleasures Department mocks hidden messages in world flags before a seven-page parody of Rogue One, cleverly mocked up as Rough One, a star boar snore, by David Richards and Tom Richmond. We're then treated to four pages of Sergio Arogonis' YouTube jokes. Next up, Kenny Keel, Sam Vivano, and Jim Campbell mock the Donald with a take on David Sheeran's classic No David Children's Book, cleverly titled No Donald. Featuring jokes about his tweeting, harassment claims, cabinet picks, and a travel ban before he served in impeachment papers. Next up is a Trums ad before a three-page Duck Ewing DOA throwback, followed by Peter Cooper's classic Spy vs. Spy. There's some brief single-page synops on office exercises, Dewey Derwin Destroys the World by Kenny Keel, and this is followed by an all-star strip collection from several illustrators. The issue wraps with a five-page mock-up of ABC's Designated Survivor by Arnie Kogan and Tom Bunk. There's some subscription offers to coincide with graduations, a two-page write-up on Supreme Court cases waiting to be heard by Jeff Cruz. The gap Tooth Gallery featuring Alfred E. Newman is the meteor headed towards some hapless dinosaurs. And finally, the Mad Fold-In by the ever-beloved Al Jaffe. Overall, it was a pretty good one. Mad Magazine still knows how to roast those in power just like always, and the issues packed the gills with digs at Trump. The juvenile jokes and laughs are about as rudimentary as ever. I didn't laugh out loud very often, but holding the book in print after so many years felt like not a day had passed. I give it a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spanning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, as well as tons of books for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.